Hey, what's up? I'm Daniel from newsiPhone.com, and today I'm going to show you how to use PhotoStream. Now, PhotoStream was um, launched on iOS 5, and um, basically what it does is it's going to take all of your photos from the last 30 days of all of your iOS devices and put them together, and also um, your computer. You can also have it synced to your computer. So, in essence, if I take a phone, a picture from my iPhone here. I can have it automatically when my phone is connected to Wi-Fi. Automatically um, upload the com the pictures to uh, the cloud, and if I want to, I can have it automatically download them to my computer, and vice versa. If I take a picture, you know, with my webcam on my computer, I can have it uploaded to the cloud, and it would show up right here in the photo stream. I don't actually use this feature just because I don't have them. I only have an iPhone and a Mac. I don't have iPads and all this stuff. So if I want to bring over a computer or a picture, I usually just will sync it over. Or I'll just upload it to Facebook, so I don't have to do any of that kind of stuff. So let me show you what you're going to need to do. First of all, you're going to need to make sure it's on. So you're going to scroll down to um, iCloud and make sure that Photo Stream is on. Now that that's working, what we're going to do is uh, we'll go to our photo stream and it. I just took these pictures um, because I wanted to have them up here and just carpet, Star Wars and Iron Man and it's that simple. You take a picture, get to my camera, take picture, like there, look. There I am with my uh, camera. Wham. Now, you have to be connected to Wi-Fi for this to work, so let me connect to my Wi-Fi. So I'm going to connect. And it doesn't happen instantly, but it does happen, you know, within probably the first minute it'll be uploaded. And as you can see, the little Wi-Fi thing is spinning. And there it goes. It's been added. Um, and if I had this connected to my computer, it would be downloading to my computer if my computer was connected to the Internet also. So that is how you get a picture into PhotoStream. Now, when it launched, there was no way, real way to get it out of PhotoStream. So it's pretty simple. They added this in 5.1, so if you don't have iOS 5.1, you're going to want to update, and but um, now that they added it, they made it really simple. It's just like on the normal photo, you can either hit the trash right there to delete it, or you can select all of them, or you know, multiple different ones, you know, let's say you only want to delete that one, and you can delete it. You also have the option now of, let's say I took this with my iPad and I want it on my iPhone, um, I can save it to it, because this is only going to stay here for 30 days. So like, I'll take this picture, and I can hit save to camera roll down here, and it would save, and then I would, you know, have it on my phone. So that is PhotoStream, it's a, a brief view, um, it's going to work on all iOS 5 devices, and it also works with your Mac. So, um, check it out, you can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash tip underscore Daniel. And I uh, hope you guys have a great day. Check out the site, todaysiphone.com.